Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Lisa here with Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Going to do your collective all sign reading. We're going to see who is thinking about you right now. We're going to see what energy comes through for you. So with that, let's get started. Also, let me know in the comments what sign you are. I'd like to see who's watching the collectives. So with that, let's see who is thinking about you right now. Who is thinking about you right now? All right, cards are being a little unruly here. All right. Mm. Somebody feels they messed up. Ooh, wow. Strongly here, someone feels like they sabotaged a good thing with you. Let's see what else comes through before I keep going. Mm. Okay. Someone is realizing, okay, we're going to start here. We have sabotage. So this is somebody who had a good thing with you and it does feel like this person is feeling like I messed up. You have the shadow side. So this is somebody right now who is maybe going through a dark time in their life. Now they are seeing, you know, their flaws. They may be kind of reviewing what happened between the two of you, not liking what they're seeing. I always say, too, that's this person who is looking in the mirror and kind of reflecting on the behavior that they may have shown you. You also have here forgiveness. So this is somebody who has not been able to move on, I feel, from whatever happened between the two of you. So this may be somebody now who is hoping for forgiveness. You also have here fluttering heart, okay? So this is somebody who I feel realizes that when the two of you were together, that they should have enjoyed their time with you. Maybe they should have been more romantic because you also have here the needs tending. So this is someone who realizes that maybe they should have given more. Maybe they should have done more been present for you, maybe made you a priority. Somebody I feel like too, maybe they're feeling like you're not responding to them or you're not giving any more energy to them because this is somebody who is like, I, I messed up. They're so in their head right now. You got beyond compare. So this is somebody who is now comparing you to other relationships, maybe that they've had since you or other relation, you know, maybe this is someone who feels like whatever you had to offer or what you gave to this person, they have not experienced the same going forward, right? This is that energy. I also feel with the beyond compare, it could be somebody who wants forgiveness, who is hoping for better times with you. But let's see what else comes through. What else can you share with the collective about this person? Let's just go through what are they thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, and their intentions. Thank you, Spirit. What is this person thinking or feeling about you right now? Oh, they're seeing you as a bit of a mystery here with the High Priestess. They may also see you as very intuitive, uh, very wise, maybe very knowledgeable. Knight of Pentacles, they feel like things are at a standstill between the two of you. I feel like too with the High Priestess, they may see you as a mystery, wondering maybe if you're dating other people. But it can also tell me they may see you as somebody who's very reliable. Got the Six of Cups and the Hermit. Yeah, so this is somebody who is definitely thinking about you, the past, the good times that the two of you have shared. I feel like, too, with that Knight of Pentacles, they may be thinking, well, how do I change things here? I miss you. Yeah, Justice, how do I make things right? 
and bottom of the deck here you do have the world card okay i'm just like hearing i feel like we are worlds apart but this is somebody i feel who is really strongly thinking about you how do i approach this how do i change this could be even that you were this person's world in the past for some of you. But that world can also signify the distance. And some of you it could be long distance. What is this person's upcoming actions towards you? King of Wands. And the lovers, okay. This person is definitely thinking about you. And I would say the action here is this is somebody making a decision from the heart to change things here with that Knight of Pentacles. Got the Hangman and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, see, this is somebody thinking about the past, how, how happy things were. How do we get to this happy place? Having some epiphanies and realizations, seeing things differently. Knight of Wands. Eight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So, the Eight of Cups here, I feel like this is this person seeing you walk away or just not feeling happy or secure where things are at. Knight of Wands, they're very motivated. See, they're very motivated to reach out to you, to reach out to you to give. Remember we talked about that too. Somebody who realizes they should have given more. So this could have been somebody in the past who was a taker. What's this person's intentions with you? What's this person's intentions with you? Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords. Now there is something here, I don't know if you can see, oh, I have to move the camera down just a bit. This is someone I feel like they, they're worried here. Now something here, I feel like with the Ace of Swords, they're worried about the truth. Worried that with these epiphanies and realizations that they're having, could there be a fresh start here? Let's keep going. What's this person's intentions? I feel like, too, their intentions right now aren't very, very clear, but th there's a sense of worry here. You have the Empress and the Page of Pentacles. Well, the intention here, I feel, is to take a step towards you with the Empress, seeing you as the Empress, seeing you as very nurturing because they do feel like you were the giver here in this situation this person was a taker page of pentacles they want the opportunity with you or at least the opportunity to communicate is strongly what i'm getting there some sort of new beginning we'll see what they're worried about i'm going to clarify six of swords and the Four of Pentacles with Judgment on the bottom of the deck. This person strongly here, they want, they're worried because they want to come towards you. But like I said up here, they're worried that maybe you are seeing or dating somebody else. Worried that... They don't know if you'll be open to change, to work things out, to fix things. As the Empress here too, and it's not about male or female, it's about energy. It could be worried you're in another relationship as well. But there's something here too. I'm going to clarify uh, what they're worried about. But they want to move in a direction of stability and security with you. Tell me more about this Nine of Swords. What's this person worried about? Four, yeah, four, four of wands. So this person is worried because there's been distance between the two of you. There's been no communication. They're worried that you may reject them. They also are worried that, what am I trying to say? 
that they have missed the opportunity with you? Let's pull some more messages. What does this person want to change? I'm going to see up here with the Knight of Pentacles. What does this person want to change? Okay. Something here about breaking free. I feel like this is someone who's trapped in their thoughts with the shadow side. Yeah, hoping that it's the right timing. This also talks about um, having faith, holding on. So hoping that things could change between the two of you, that they can get out of their head because they haven't been able to move on. And the rambling rose. Yeah, they don't like the distance here between the two of you. I'm going to say for some of you, and this isn't going to be all of you, this could be somebody in another connection or relationship, that that could be the change here that they want to break free from, or if it resonates with you, you getting out of some sort of relationship. You also have your enchanted whisper, listen to your heart and take a chance on love. So... I feel like this person wants to take a chance here. That's that's the dream here. Tell me more about this hermit. This is also this person going within. Tell me more about the hermit. Yeah, two sides. See, again, they're trying to navigate what direction. This is somebody I feel, it says, navigate the delicate balance of give and take. See, there. this is what I said in the beginning. This is somebody who was taking, wasn't giving in the past. And so what they're doing now is you have on the move here. They're trying to find the next steps and what action to take. This is what this person has been thinking about because you see the clock here. Some time has gone by. And... I feel like whatever your situation is, they know that this is a delicate situation. And with the hermit, it's like they're trying to find the right approach to come towards you because if they don't come towards you in the right way, they may be rejected or miss the opportunity with you. So I do feel like this person is taking baby steps, coming towards you. You also have here the first blush. So this is someone, I feel like what's going to happen is they're going to send you some sort of either sincere message or it's going to be like a flirty message. See, it, this is a feel it out type of message. So they're taking baby steps here because they've been doing some soul searching about you and them that they messed up, that they sabotaged the connection and you also have celebration. So this is someone who, in the past, I feel they're realizing they didn't take the time to appreciate you. They may have also been somebody who was all about the partying, all about partying or just having fun or going out and having fun and, and what they wanted. And they weren't somebody who was really giving you what you needed. So with that, I feel like... I'm going to pull a few more cards. What else does the collective need to know about this? Oh, look at that. Unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. Understanding. I see your side of the story. Interesting because we had two sides here. This is someone who is now seeing your side of the story, considering your feelings in a position where they realize their actions. Yeah, ne neglected. And it says here, I fail to give you what you need. Wow, so on point. Yeah, unappreciated. They acted like they didn't care with you. They didn't appreciate. And I just said that here with celebration. They did not appreciate you. And this is what this person is thinking. Yeah, because it was about their ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. 
right in the way of commitment they may have been more about their wallet their money you, you know the two of you when it came to money you may have had like differences of you know um, how you spent money or what you know what you had in life but I just feel like this is someone who was more about their money their wallet and then you also have here mend I want to fix our connection so I feel here strongly that you got someone who realizes that they messed things up and I feel like this person has not been able to move on so collective i hope uh you enjoyed your reading i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love